Shafada, Mandala Bado Shabadu Shekeya, Roboko Satariya Babush, Mandali Baba Sataya, Kila Madush Kala Madushaya, Roboko Satayina Namako Sataya, Roboko Sekelebeaya, Robo Shabanamakutaya, Roboko Sekelebeko, Robo Kotaria Badushka, Tongs of Fire God, Bibio Saku, Robo Kosaka Talaba Pusukaya, Robo Koseke Nelebo Robo Kosikaya Baba, Bandorobo Koshaya, in Jesus prophetic name. Amen. Katelebo Roku Saka Telebe de Skuya Reka Sando Roboko Seke Tongs of Fire Yahushua Maka Seke Toloboko Seke Kalibo Roku Seke We drink the blood of Yahushua and eat his flesh so that we vomit fire over this area Sheke Lebe de Kosoko Rabadas au robo koseki Raka saka taka saka to robo koshi Mama katu robo kosaka ka Libande, libande lusha Katuli ababu sky Rebende kayo na makushe Raku saka taya Broko soko rebeke saya Robo koshaya Tongues of fire, God. Tongues of fire, Maka Sheki. Robo, Robo, Robo. Raka Seki Tali Boruku Sai. Rika Tu Shabadus Kutua. Mandele, Mandele Shaka. Rika Bo Sati Ebe. Raba Kasata Babaku Seke Baku Sai. Ruku Sheki Taka Saka Taka Saka Ta. Ramanda Kushai. Katali Abaruku Sei Rokoto Wabaku Seke Manda Kasaka Tuku Saka Moko Sheke Roboko Saka Nina Namaku Sei Ruka Nina Maku Sika Yananama Shenene Neko Tono No Moko Sika Yaya Ribadu Tade De Kushe De 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 Shonun Nan Sanku Nyan Kowa Rinkabu Saku Talaba Usei Rekebo Shanda Bai Roku Soku Mashika Ila Kutu Wabaku Seke Roboko Soku Wabakasa Mandebo Shanda Bai In Jesus prophetic name Amen
Father. Listen, listen, listen. I am sure that top of that NK is a fight about her. You can do better than that. You can give God the glory that he so deserves in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That Amen. You open your mouth wherever you are. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, help me tonight. Hallelujah. Begin to give God glory. Hallelujah. 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 Begin to worship Him. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
bless you tonight, Father God. What a God, what a God you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, what a God you are, Father God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness, oh God, that is better than life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so good to us, my God. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Lord, I bless you. Your holy name tonight, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Your faithfulness is great. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, God. Praise you tonight. Hallelujah. If it had not been for you on our side, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, what a God you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, God. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, what a good God you are. Oh, what a good God you are. Oh, what a good God you are. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, your mercy, your oh God. Your mercy is on you every morning and fresh every evening, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. God, hallelujah. God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty God. Oh, what a great God. Oh, what a wonderful God. Oh, what an awesome God you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, what a God you are. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Praise you tonight. Hallelujah. Mm, the great I am. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done, my God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah. Lord, oh, bless you, God. God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the God. Praise the God. There's a lady online. She called me. They were coming on her to kill her. <laughs> and God deliver her out of death. She's not dead. Hallelujah. She's back Hallelujah. hallelujah. Full speed, full blast. To God be the glory. I do Hallelujah. not take God for granted. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. It says when the devil said no. Hallelujah. Jesus said yes. Amen. Do you know that today? Amen. Uh, 103 witches. They were sent to the other day, no 103. I just get up and I take a nice bottle of water. And I go and Hallelujah. sit down on the file. And when I was out there, I, the Lord just opened my eyes and said, Anna, look, I brought the rainbow right at the back of your house. Wow. I said, can you believe it? And, he, and I said, right away, my faith elevated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I said, if Hallelujah. after so many centuries, hallelujah, Noah has Died and gone. Mm. Hello! Yeah. His bed yeah. is rock to the core. Yeah. There is no choice of Noah. But the Amen. that God <laughs> make with Noah mm. is still uh, this seed mm. in the sky. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the rainbow. From Amen. that time, Thank I can't Lord. stop worship. Listen, I don't know if I'm Thank to run. Lord. I don't know what to do. Because I'm saying, God, you are mm. giving me another dose of faith to persevere in the things of God because your covenant is sure. Hallelujah. You're a covenant keeping God. What God said it, it is done. Hallelujah. God made me excited and when I see Mm. one of our babies, Prophetess Kamara, daughter, Getting off, getting ready. She she went off to her, her un um to to college. I said, God, <laughs> God, you are too dangerous. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemy. The enemy saying, "Get," and God said, "Get promoted, get elevated." Yes, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Yes, in the mighty name. Yes. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When I come on the prophet tonight, my praise is not making no I want to worship. I can't even find the hallelujah to ball it out on the mountain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who this God is. Sometimes the things that God do for you is better than getting a million dollars. I am telling you the truth. Sometimes when your back is against Mm. the wall Mm. and the Enemies say, I think in you now, and out of the blue, up from the grave, you hallelujah, 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 you see, hallelujah, 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 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm trying to be normal. I can't be normal. I can't be dignified. This God is Amen. Hello, Amen. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is so meticulous that sometimes, child of God, He calm the storm of your life, but sometimes He take you by the hand and drag you to the storm and begin to speak peace to the storm, indicating that He has the superior power to confront the confronters. Hallelujah. Amen. He has so Hallelujah. much power that He will take you in the middle of the storm. Are you walking on the storm, grumbling and complaining and don't see that through the victorious Amen. power of God, Hallelujah. you are walking out your storm. You are walking in the Hallelujah. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lamb of God that sits upon the throne. Amen. I want to welcome every nation. I can't even call you tonight. My throat is gone to worship. Hello, somebody. My throat is not. uh, My throat is retiring, but I command it to get back in in service for the king. No retirement for this church. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Said, let everything that I'm right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. You don't know how I'm not coming. I will all tell you the fine part I run through the house and beat the fine part. How many of you know when I was inspired to write the no more killing. I used to beat the fine pans in my house. No more killing. My children was annoyed. They were saying, Mommy, stop this madness. What? Every day you're in here beating the pot cover. But no, no more killing God global. From pot cover. <laughs> <laughs> From Pat Cover to the courts of heaven, am I communicating? Yes. 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 You put yes. down what God gave you for man because the foolish things of man is Hallelujah. greater than the wisdom. The foolish thing of God is greater than the wisdom of man. The man is so hallelujah. In the hallelujah. Miraculous name of our Lord. Amen. Amen. So the witches came today to pray again. And I just said, Lord, you remember me? And lightning and thunder. The whole thing washed out again today. Listen, I was going on bad. I said, my God, you're ready for battle. The mighty man of war. So hallelujah. You're hallelujah. When you're in need of him, he's not going to tell you that, oh, I'm on a vacation. You're going to have to make a reservation with my secretary. This mighty man in battle. Show up. Anytime, because he need a slumber, not sleep, can I profit as I? Amen. 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 Says that the Lord is a man of war. The Lord Amen. is His name. Shout hallelujah yes, in the mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, hallelujah. I would like to call Miss Evelyn Bacchus to Hallelujah. This global platform. She's going to read for us our devotional text taken from the book of Psalms uh, 68. Uh, follow her as she followed Christ in Jesus' prophetic name. Amen. Uh, my God. Amen. 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 Good night, saints. Good night. Good night. Good night. Psalm, Psalm 68, the Psalm of Song of David. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so driven them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. A. Let them exceedingly rejoice. 
say unto God, say praise to his name, exalt him that read upon the heaven by his name of John, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widow. Yes. Oh, glory and honor. Amen. The word of God is blessed. I got kicked Hallelujah. off the line with one of one of my phones. Somebody need Praise to give God, God thanks tonight. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. I want to give God thanks for Panama tonight. Can we adulate Thank God for Lord. Panama Thank tonight? Thank you, Lord, for Panama Hallelujah. tonight. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord, God for, for Brazil tonight. Thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. for Brazil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for Kirk and Caicos tonight. Thank you, Lord, for Kirk and Caicos. Hallelujah. Thank God for Bolivia tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Bolivia. Hallelujah. Thank God for Dubai. Tonight. Thank you, Lord, oh. for Dubai. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank God Thank for Jesus. Pakistan tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for Pakistan. Hallelujah. Thank for Toronto tonight. In the name Thank of you, Jesus. Lord, for Toronto. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank God for Hallelujah. Kenya tonight. Thank you, Lord, for Kenya. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for Benny City tonight. Thank you, Lord, for Benny City. Hallelujah. South Africa tonight. Thank you, Lord, for South Africa. Hallelujah. Cameroon tonight. Thank you, Lord, for Cameroon. Hallelujah. Thank God for Takuari and Ivory Coast. Thank you, Thank Lord, God for the Ivory Coast and, 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 and Sakarani. Hallelujah. Thank God for Accra. Thank you, Lord. Away Thank you, Lord, for Accra. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hold up, Ghana. I thank all my friends there in Ghana. God bless you. In Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Awesome. Hallelujah. Tonight, I want every one of us to join in all this synchronicity. We are going to lift up the nation of Israel before I go into the team tonight. Yes. Oh, my Hallelujah. God. Mm. Then I write a book uh, in, in five, five days. I finish up the book, and this book is going to make you one of the most happiest attendee to the prior line and the prior ministry tonight. You're going to find out why violation of the laws bring so much serious attack upon your destiny, your health, your humanity. You're going to remove every violations of rule and principle and regulation that establish a counterfeit destiny over your life. After you have done that, then you're going to re- resynchronize, resyncopate your life and destiny with the law system of God. We are going to deal with the era of compromise. Shout hallelujah. It is the era hallelujah. of compromise, hallelujah, mm. that caused the serpent to bite you because the edges were broken in the prophetic name of Jesus. So, so we're going to go to the courts of heaven tonight. We're going to ask the Lord for Jerusalem. Every one of you who pour out your heart in reverence to the Lord request that we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. You are going to pick up blessing tonight. Your children, your children, mm. children, who is going to be blessed. If, you're, if your line is muted, unmute your phone just to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And so, Father, in the name of Yehushua Amashiach, uh, we are here by the time and season of life through the power of the Ruach Kodesh to present uh, your glorious nation that is called Jerusalem. Come on, saints, every one of us. Uh, Father, this is a nostalgic time when visions and biblical prophecies are coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are sparking and yearning and hunger, a perennial hunger as we dream of greater prophetic fulfillment, God. You have been dispositing the enemy on every side. You show us your love for humanity by what you keep doing to Israel. You keep causing them to triumph over their enemies, God. No enemy can manipulate them and control them. Even when the enemy comes about them like a flood, you lift up a thunder, God. 
because of all these spiritual things that we're with. We're witnessing tonight. We're joining our faith with our brothers and sisters in Israel. All the rabbis, all the theologians, all the mothers and children, and all of them, God, we ask regardless of where they are right now, God, that you will pour out your love. You will be the wing beneath their wings. In the prophetic name of Jesus, we thank you for raising up two missionaries, two prophets and pastors to go into that nation. Oh, God, by your royal power to execute actions against any entities and enemies that want to exploit Israel. We ask, oh, God, for the peace of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. That you will continue to promote more purities in the name of Yahshua, in the name of Jesus. God, deal with Israel plentifully. Drive out their enemies. Purge out their destinies. We lift up Benjamin Nahiyahu and the entire presidential administration of the, the, the continent of Israel. We thank you for them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazareth. As you have admonished us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, we thank you, God, for making them holy and set apart. We thank you that no diviner can block and stop them. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that as we are praying now, hallelujah, those that join me to pray, God, every era of me, for those that are online tonight, you will begin to bless them, God. You will begin to make them great in the name of Jesus. Those that are among us that are laboring for Israel in prayer, God, remember their children, remember their loved ones, remember them as they remember your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, begin to arise in our lives. Those that pray tonight for Israel, touch their health, touch their well-being, touch their children, touch their bodies, touch their bodies, touch their bodies. Father, you decree and declare that you will bless those who bless Israel. God, remember Israel. Remember us as we remember them in the name of Jesus. Now we blow the blood in the ear that they breathe. We blow the blood over everything that pertains to them. We decree that the blood will live as standard over all the plans and schemes of the arch enemy of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We seal the fire with the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And the word of our testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I wanted to raise this fire Hallelujah. point. I wanted to raise this fire point. Mighty man of war. Mighty, Mighty man of war. war. Draw forth your dagger. Draw forth your dagger. Enter into the body. And enter into, into the, the body. body of every hybrid spirit. Of, of every, every hybrid spirit. Hybrid spirit. spirit. That was sent to kill me before I manifest. That was sent to kill me before I manifest. Before I manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty man of war. Mighty man of war. Arise with your sword. Arise with your sword. Arise into the body. Enter into the body of every power 
Assigned to kill me. Assigned to kill me. Before my glory manifests. Before my glory manifests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hear me and hear me well. Mighty man of war. Mighty man of war. Pull up your sword. Pull up your sword. Enter into my home. Enter into my home. Begin to kill. Begin to kill. Every household witchcraft. Every Every household witchcraft. Assigned to terminate my destiny. Assigned to terminate my destiny. destiny. You got to pray this before I I bring the word. Mighty man of war. Mighty Mighty man of war. war. Appear in the battlefield of my children. Begin to kill every strong man. Begin to kill every strong man. Assigned to kill my children. Assigned to kill my children. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of God, a lady called me at the point of death. So when the lady called me, God says to me, raise this prayer point, and I want to give everyone this prayer point before I go into the sermon tonight. This is the prayer point God gave me that bring the lady back from dead. Yesterday from the dead. Say after me, Every multiple strong man, every multiple strong man, sitting on the throne of my life, sitting on the throne of my life, oh God, arise, mighty God, arise, and cast the strong man off his throne. And God is thrown on fire. Set his on fire. You, the strong man that was tossed from the throne. You, you the strong man that was tossed from the throne. Fall to the ground and die. I'm going to the ground and die. Never to rise again. Never Never to rise again. again. I I pray that prayer to the lady. She should feel better instantly. And I so I take the same prayer point to another lady in Jamaica, her daughter at a C section. And six months the belly is still not healed. For six months. So I said to her, pray this prayer point. Multiple strong man. Multiple strong man. Sitting on the organs of my body. Sitting on the organs of my body. Oh God, arise with your glittering spear. Oh God, arise with your glittering spear. Begin to kill the multiple strong man. Begin, Begin to, to kill, kill the multiple, the multiple strong, strong man. man. Begin to pull down his throne. Begin, Begin to, to pull, pull down, down his throne. throne. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I finish, when I finish pray that prayer, I saw a woman come out of her belly. 
Uh-huh. And the woman had on a black scarf on her head. I said, I saw a woman. This woman is a revivalist. She's in your belly. I just saw her get out of your belly. She said, that is my mother-in-law. And she's a revivalist. And she wear the black thing on her head every day. After that witch came out of the girl's belly, her belly started healing just within 72 hours. Can we praise the name of God? Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, God. Praise you, God. We have one more prayer point to pray. Every multiple strong man. Every multiple strong man. Hiding in my body. Hiding in my body. Hiding in my children's body. Hiding in my children's body. You are a liar. You are a liar. Come on by fire. Come on by fire. I am telling you this. God bear me witness. I could call this lady online right now. Let me see if I can get her. To testify. Oh, God used me last night. So the, the, the witch came out of her belly. How oh, can a woman be in a woman's belly? I don't understand this ministry that God has given us all. Hallelujah. I saw when she started to run. I said, you witch, we suffer you not to live. What are you Amen. 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 She ran out of the girl's belly. The by the time I look, I saw that the son was under attack on his heart. The baby that just born six months old under attack with the heart. I said, the devil is a liar. Hear this, hear this prayer point now. Say it loud and clear that God gave me. And all the old house get healed one time last night. Can you open your mouth and say, multiple strong man. Multiple man. strong man. That are organ killers. That, that are organ, organ killers. killers. From the witch's coven. From, From the, the witch's coven. That have been assigned to kill the organs of my body. That have been assigned to kill the organs of my body. That have been assigned to kill the organs of my children's body. That have been assigned to kill the organs of my children's body. body. Are you organ killing strong man? You organ killing strong man. I am not your candidate. I am not your candidate. Fall from your throne in my body and die. Rabakusa. Fall from your throne in my body and die. You are gun killing strong man. You are gun killing strong man. Fall from your throne in my children's body and die. Hallelujah. Go give the Lord the greatest shout you can bless his name on this day. Hallelujah. 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 Deliverance. God gave us instant deliverance. Higher the amen for three hours. The old house was on fire. Witches start to run out of the house. Hallelujah. I didn't know that the witches them in Jamaica getting so bad. In the name of Jesus, she jumped out of the late the young lady's stomach. And this morning I call her back and she said, Providence, my God, I sleep like a baby. Roboco sat up. By the time I look in the room of the spirit, another witch coming to poison them. The Lord said, take authority over galactic bomb, aerial bomb, bioweapon. And we begin to send back the poison. In their belly, in the name of Jesus, everyone was reporting 
Elena, shout hallelujah, 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 glory, glory, hallelujah. God, I said, Daddy, I'm God. not making no, I'm not looking at nobody prayer point. What must I pray? And he said, multiple strong man. Let it be a lifestyle for you. When God give us revelation, we run with the revelation. For emancipation is what we receive. When God says to me, Anna, it is multiple strong man. Multiple strong man. So today is belly ache. Tomorrow is toothache. The next day is witchcraft. The next day is heart problem. The multiple strong man. In all sakuturia. So whether you are out in two tape, brain ache, you are multiple. That name is more than one of you. Fall off your children and government. In the prophetic name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank so we're gonna, we're, I'm going to talk to you under the prophetic team tonight. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a book that I write. It's four days it takes me, and I'm telling you, you're going to understand the mystery that Satan don't want you to know. We're going on a journey through justice. <laughs> Navigating the world of lawsuit is what this book is entitled. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. So I want to introduce this book to you, and we're embarking Working on a journey through, hallelujah, this intricate world of lawsuit. It is an intricate world of lawsuit that we're going to explore. We're going to explore the complexities and challenges and triumph that individuals, organizations, families, hallelujah, faces in their pursuit for justice. Wherever you find yourself right now, whether you're directly involved in a legal dispute or merely curious about a legal process, this comprehensive teaching that I aim to shed light in you tonight is going to be fascinating because it's it's an essential aspect of learning about lawsuit. In order to understand the, the way God's law system operates, you have to understand the guideline that God gives us for humanity. So the, the Almighty God uses His law, laws, as a guideline for humanity. Understanding God's law system gives you a better way to deal with battles. God law systems encompassing exploring the principle and belief that governs the moral and ethical way God establishes law that governs humanity. We have various laws. We have religious laws. We have um, all kind of laws and we're going to demystify them tonight. In every religion, they have their own interpretation of God's law and commandments, which guides their fellow behavior and action. In, in this discussion and, and in this teaching tonight, we, I'm going to provide you with a general overview of some key concepts in understanding God's law system versus the law system of man. So number one, you need to understand that God's law system operates by divine authority. In many religious traditions, God is seen as the ultimate source of authority and law. Before you can even understand, before you can even comprehend that, you need to know what is law. What is law defined as? So a law is a set of rules principle or regulation established by an authority to govern and regulate the behavior of individuals and group within a society or organization. Laws serve as a guideline for how individuals should interact with one another, resolve disputes, and maintain order and harmony within the community. Law can be established by various entities such as government, legislative body, courts, and other authoritative institutions. They can be written and unwritten depending on the legal system of a particular country or region. The primary purpose of laws are to ensure justice, to protect individual rights and freedom, to promote the common good and maintain social order. 
Law provides a framework for resolving conflict, punishing wrongdoers, and promoting a just and equitable society. Law are, laws are binding, and it's binding to individual and accept and individual are expect to abide by them. Failure to comply with law can result in legal consequences, such as a fine. Please remember this that I'm saying now. Such as a fine, imprisonment, or other penalties, depending on the severity of the violation. The next thing you need to know about law, overall, law plays a crucial role in shaping and functioning our society and ensuring that individuals coexist harmoniously with their rights and responsibility, clearly defined and protected. So that is what law is all about. So the moral and ethical guidelines and are believed to be divinely related and are considered as a binding on believers. Why? These laws are fundamental laws that God has institutionalized. These laws are often documented in sacred scripture or texts revered by respective religious people that believe in the sacred content of the word of God. So we want to look why Satan is so uh, interested in when we violate God's law and uh, the, the, uh, the, the Lord begin to say something to me. As I look in the realm of the spirit, I see a lot of lawsuit, lawsuit. When I was writing this book, God began to tell me something totally different from accusation. Huh? Mm-hmm. So the accusation that Revelation 12 talks about is literally a lawsuit. So we're here tonight because we want to deal with all satanic lawsuit that is in the realm of the spirit that is superimposing on our destiny. And so God has to use me tonight to define what law is to give you a good moral guideline and a good biblical foundation. You're going to have it both in the physical and the spiritual inside of all law operates so that when you know that you're under attack, you know right away when the attack is going on, there is a lawsuit that is in the realm of the spirit that is incensed against you. Hallelujah. So God himself give us commandments and moral guidelines. God give laws. God laws typically consist of a set of commandments, moral guidelines that govern various aspect of human behavior, relationship, and actions. These laws cover areas such as worship, moralities, morality, ethics, social, and justice, compassion, and the treatment of others. Hallelujah. God has, hallelujah, people that depend on these kind of teaching right now because all that you're seeing right now in the earth is as a result of violation of God's righteous law. Hallelujah. Personal and community obligation are no longer treated with, with, with moral ethics and values. God law often address both personal and communal responsibility. They guide individual on how to lead a righteous life while also emphasizing on the importance of contributing positively to the well-being of your society. God rewards us when we act in, hallelujah, um, 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 conjunction to his righteous will. There's reward and there's consequences. Many religious traditions teaching us that, you know, once you violate God's law, then you just come and that, 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 that. But there is an inner peace, hallelujah, and a broader perspective when divine laws are, are, are respected. Then you know that there's a divine reward that is coming both in this life and the afterlife. This may be a little controversial to many people, but violating God's law may result in divine displeasure and punishment, even death. So the interpretation and application of God's law is very paramount. Interpretating and application of God's law can be complex and sometimes subject to different interpretation within you know, the belief of, of, of Christians. 
But I want you to know that God wants to offer us divine mercy and forgiveness alongside his law. And we're going to look at some very serious things in the Bible that denotes that God is not plain. And then once we violate his law, the serpent is going to bite us. So, number one, you need to understand that God is the one that constitutes law. In the physical realm, we have governors, we have uh, legislative boards that, that institutionalize law. But God is the original lawgiver. Where you find that? Isaiah 33, verse 22, the ESV version. For the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will save us. Who is a lawgiver? God. James 4, 12. Hallelujah. There is only one lawgiver and judge. He who is able to save and to destroy. But who are you to judge your neighbor? Hallelujah. Genesis 18 verse 25. For be it from you to do such thing uh, that to put to death, to put to death the righteous, to put the righteous to death with the wicked, so that the righteous feared as the wicked. For be it from you, shall not the judge of all the earth do what is just? Who is a judge? God. What does he give? Laws. What does he give? Justice. You can have reward or you can have consequences. In Psalm 75 verse 7 it says, But God is the judge. He put down one and lift up another. Hebrews 12 23 says, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, to God the judge of all, to the spirit of just man, made perfect. Prophetess Anna, what are you trying to say to me tonight? I am trying to say to you consequently that as a result of our violation, it did not start with you. This, this violation of God's laws, started long before you were born. Your mother did it. Your father did it. No one guide, hallelujah, guide themselves, hallelujah, meticulously. They did not adhere to the word of God or walk in the corrective measure, hallelujah, once imposed because of a violation. God acts of mercy alongside his law is often mistreated and people are facing the consequences and oftentimes it leads to death. So I want to explain the law of man. Then you're going to look at the parallel between the law of God and the law of man. Hallelujah. In chapter one of this book, the foundation of the law is what we're going to excavate and delve into. We begin by diving into the foundation of law and its importance in shaping society and us as humans. We understand the principle of justice due to process and the rules of law laid down to the groundwork for comprehending why lawsuit may have some critical role in maintaining order and resolving this. The fundamental law of God there is based on the Bible. A mm. Child of God in the physical realm, once you violate a law, you're going to be subpoenaed to the court. So it is in the spiritual realm. The fundamental law of God are presented in the Bible and they very depend on the specific interpretation and denomination within Hallelujah, the Christ, um, Christianity, the Bible as a central mm -hmm. sacred scripture that contains diverse teaching on the commandment. Why do you always hear God say in the Bible that you don't keep my commandment, you don't hear my precept, you don't understand this? These great commandments that God gives us is embedded in his law. One of the most Hallelujah, found of commandment we learn about is the 10th commandment according to the book of Exodus chapter 20. But God has all kind of commandments that govern the entire creation. He has commandments for food, he has commandments for sex, he has commandments for everything, all of that. When you explore them from a biblical perspective, they were there for imputation of purity and to protect us from some of the demonization that we're going through now. 
Hallelujah. So that is about chapter one, the fundamental uh, aspect of how a law is established and what are the variations. Now, chapter two, we want to look at the type of lawsuit. Here we're going to explore the diverse category of lawsuit. And as it is in the physical, so it is in the spirit, including civil, criminal, and administrative action. Each type of lawsuit serves as a unique purpose. And we are going to examine these keys, hallelujah, and all the laws a lawsuit done. In the realm of law, saints, lawsuit can take on various form. So it is in the physical, so it is in the spiritual. Each serving a distinct purpose and encompassing these different legal principles. Understanding the category of lawsuit is essential in navigating the legal la- landscape effectively. Hallelujah. We are going to now explore three primary types of lawsuit. As it is in the physical, so it is in the spirit. Number one type of lawsuit is a civil lawsuit. They have a criminal lawsuit. They have an administrative action. Hallelujah. So a civil lawsuit is categorized as one of the most common legal type of lawsuits. A legal action that involves dispute between individual organization and entity. Hallelujah. In notice I said entities, so it is in the physical, so it is in the spiritual. Over a wide range of matter, these cases aim to resolve conflicts and that relates to rights, contract, property, and, and civil wrong. So no criminal get away in a lawsuit when the lawsuit has been invoked when they have been subpoenaed to the court whether civil law or any kind of law that they have violated they have to pay the price for that so god began to speak to me at length about the law the law the law the law if you notice the woman that was caught in the act of adultery under the law it was for her to be stoned to death. But Jesus came with mercy. Mercy is not excluding the penalty that we will pay when we violate God's law. Hallelujah. I want you to pay attention to what I'm going to say now. For this chapter, just a little bit, I'm just giving you a little synopsis. I can't go to the old chapters with you because it's very long. So about 30, 35 chapters. So when you take a closer look at the legal system, you will understand in that belief how the legal system is structured and the role of the various participants, such as, number one, the judges, the attorney, the juriors, and the witnesses. We also will discuss that the legal presentation and the ethical responsibility of the lawyer is necessary. Who is your lawyer when you go to the court of heaven? Jesus Christ is our attorney. Hallelujah. The angels, the men in white linen, the spirit of just men made perfect, the 24 elder they represent like jewelers in the court of heaven. The cloud of witness is the witnesses. Hallelujah. And God is the judge. Shout hallelujah, praise the Lord. So when we have a lawsuit, when something is going wrong, like if you have a sickness in your body, another name for accusation is a lawsuit or a derogatory claim. When you look at the initial meaning of the word lawsuit, it will surprise you, beloved. Whenever something is going on wrong in your body, hallelujah, it is because there is a lawsuit. As I said, another name for lawsuit can be defined as a accusation. I want to give you what is the typical meaning of the word lawsuit. Uh, the word lawsuit is defined as a legal dispute or case brought before a court of law for resolution. It is a formal legal proceeding where one party known as the plaintiff initiates the legal action against the other party known as the defendant. 
seeking to resolve a legal issue or claim. The lawsuit process typically begins when the plaintiff files a complaint. So remember, in the book of Revelation, the Bible says that Satan is constantly there accusing us before God day and night. Are you with me, child of God? Every day, Amen. 24 hours of the day, he built a case and he take it to the court. He have a lawsuit against you and a lawsuit against me. And he is telling God, this is what she did. This is what he did. And you will be going on with all kind of affliction, all kind of tragedy in your life, not knowing that a lawsuit was taken out against you. The plaintiff is Satan. If you didn't go before him, he is the plaintiff. He is filing a complaint. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Or a petition with the appropriate court in heaven. He complains about us. Hallelujah. That giving a specific legal claim. It is called allegation against the defendant. And so on the basis of that lawsuit, the defendant is then served a copy. When the warfare starts now, you are being notified that legal action is being taken against you. Hallelujah. In the courts of heaven or in the courts of a Satan. Somebody said, Oh Lord, plead my cause. This is very complicated, God. I need to understand. So, what Satan does, he takes something that you do, something that I have done, and he goes to the courts of heaven. Oh, Rabba Shata Rabaha. I know you can talk all sort of things. Uh, hallelujah. But where in the Bible you find such, hallelujah, you find such a setting? Where in the Bible, prophetess Anna, you find anything that can, hallelujah, relate uh, to what you're saying? Well, according to the book of Job, there was a time when the sons of God gathered. The sons of God were gathered Hallelujah. And they were having a courtroom procession. They were having a courtroom procession. Hallelujah. God was talking to his son. Hallelujah. Those were the angels. And in the book of Job, 1 and verse 6, the Bible says, one day the angel came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came, hallelujah, with them. And God says to Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, from roaring throughout the earth, going back and forth in it. Then Satan said, then God said, have you considered my servant Job, one that is just, one that ensures evil? This is where Satan get the the the, the um the um the lawsuit against Job. Satan say, Job loved you for naught. That was an accusation. Job loved you for naught. The Lord said to Satan, As you consider my servant Job, there is no one on earth like him. He is blameless. That means there is no lawsuit against him. He is upright, a man who fear God and shun evil. Are you with the child of the Most High God? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thanks and bring a negative claim. This is the lawsuit. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Hallelujah. Then God responded by saying to Satan, Hallelujah. Have you not put uh, no, before God answered, Job, hear what Satan did. Satan went into Job's life. You've got to hear me. You've got to get understanding tonight. Satan went into Job's life. He went to Job's geographical location. He went about Job. 
looking for an occasion to strike Job, but he could not find anything because Job was blameless. That's why he said in Job 1.10, have you not put a edge around him and his household? Hello, somebody. And everything he has, you have blessed the work of his hand so that his flock and earth are spread throughout the land. Satan could not find an occasion to bring a lawsuit against, hallelujah, Job. But here's what he said. He did this to test, to test Job, loyalty to God. He said to God, but now stretch out your hands and strike everything that he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. That was the lawsuit that Satan bring about Job. He was saying it's only because you bless him and you put protection around him. But take away all of that and you will see if Job will not curse you to your face. Is there anyone who's understanding what I'm saying so far? If you're understanding amen. what I'm saying, shout amen. the Lord, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Then when the lawsuit came to God, then the Lord said, the Lord said to Satan, very well, then everything he has is in your power. But on the man himself, do not lay a finger. Then Satan went from the presence of the Lord. So Satan could not touch Job unless he got permission. The lawsuit was granted. Are you hearing me, child? Amen. Amen. I don't know what kind of lawsuit is on you. Is it a sickness lawsuit? Hallelujah. Let me tell you what God showed me now as I'm writing this book. Immediately when Satan get the lawsuit against Job, what he did, he leave the presence of the Lord. Then he went to Job, Job 1 verse 13. On that day, one day when Job's son and daughter were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, something serious took place. Hallelujah. Satan started to strike. Hallelujah. Because he now has a lawsuit to strike Job. But he was told not to kill him. Kill everything, donkey, children, everything. But you can't touch Job. Somebody said, that lawsuit, hey, hey, that Satan have on me. I must repent and get it annulled. Rock for both, shut up high. So he won't get an occasion to kill me, to kill my prosperity, to kill everything that pertains unto me. Shout hallelujah in the mighty name. Of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, a lawsuit is initiated from filing a complaint. I just demonstrated that to you that Satan filed a complaint to God. I, a complaint was filed from the filing of the complaint to the serving of the legal document. Satan get the legal document when he leaves the presence of God. He take the document that initiated the lawsuit and he went to Job to explore uh, all the avenue where he can implant critical element to kill Job. Prosperity kill his protection, kill his family. Kill his cow, his donkey, his horses. Somebody need to understand. Satan can only touch you when a lawsuit is against you in the realm of the spirit. Can I prove it to you? Shout hallelujah. Can I prove it to you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty good. Somebody say, prove it to me, woman of God. Hallelujah. For the Bible tell me that immediately when Satan started to afflict Job, everything was gone. Because guess what? Job was put on a trial. 
You cannot have a lawsuit and don't go on a trial. Can I talk to somebody? Hallelujah. Some people Hallelujah. call the trial the trial of your faith. Some people call the trial witchcraft attack. But because your arch enemy has got in the lawsuit, he can initiate the trial. Can I prophet aside to you? Hallelujah. Let's go deeper in the scripture to understand. When Job was put on trial, the four corner of his house collapsed. Hallelujah. That's what the messenger come and said, Job, your children was in a house. The four corner of the house collapsed on them, and they are dead. Lawsuit being served. Hello, somebody. It, the, the messenger says, I am the only one who is escaped to tell you. At this time, one messenger after another after another. Job got up. He was on trial now. He tore his robe. He shaved his head. He then fell to the ground and began to worship and said, Naked I come from my mother's womb and naked I will depart. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. The Bible says, Do you know what Satan wanted now? Somebody said, tell me what the devil wanted in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell me what the devil wanted in the name of Jesus Christ. Sister Jessica received power. Sister Kamara and Velora received power. Do you know what the devil wanted? He wanted to afflict Job so much that Job started talk of some things against God, so he will have a greater lawsuit. Hallelujah! But Job mm. was a wise man. His love for God was not inch on the things that God gave him. Shout hallelujah wherever you are. Hallelujah! 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 That's why hallelujah. Say, Naked I come. Naked I will go. The Lord give it. The Lord give it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God begin to open up my eyes in this book. He said, Anna, all Satan was looking was a lawsuit. Can it be that Job started to say, God is this, God is that. He's building up the lawsuit. For he wanted Job to die. Another day come, and it's the first lawsuit that Satan and God was not good enough. Another day come, hallelujah, when the sons of God again was presenting themselves before the Lord, and Satan came with them and present himself. And the Lord says, where have you come from? Satan said, from going to back and forth in the earth. The Lord said, have you considered my servant Job? There's none like him. He is blameless, an upright man who fear God and shun evil. Huh? Satan wants another lawsuit. Somebody, somebody say, I wonder how much lawsuit this devil have on me. Hallelujah. Can you ask God? How much lawsuit this devil have on me, God? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm going to prove it to you now. Hallelujah. That Satan was booking another lawsuit. So he said to God, God said he's blameless and shun evil. Hear what God says. And he still maintains is integrity, though you entice me against him to ruin him without any reason. Amen. Am I in the church of God? Amen. Oh, can God Amen. Amen. Allow, oh, can God allow Job to be tried without a reason? Because the Bible says the curse cost less cannot stand. So how is it that Job is being tried without a cause? Somebody said, teach me more in the teach name of more. Jesus. Teach me more. more. In the name of God. Jesus. In the name of preach, Jesus. Preach. Preach. Am I making sense to you? This is serious. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, Amen. Somebody. Yes. I had to buckle down and write the book. I said, God, what manner of revelation is this? Mm -hmm. God said, Anake Israel. Satan was looking another occasion mm -hmm. to sing Job. 
Hallelujah. The mm-hmm. first one that he got did not kill Job. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Somebody, you need to hear me, Sister Bellora Pumlet. Listen, Listen to this. To the yeah. first one he gets. You mm-hmm. kill my children. Some of have heart attack and drop down. Hello? Yeah. It's not one yes. children. Yes. It's all yes. of them die. One time. Yes. Yes. Somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. And yes. if that shock was not good enough, listen to me. You better hear the Holy Ghost tonight. Mm-hmm. Hear the Holy Ghost tonight. Yes. God yes. say you. Hallelujah. Still come again. Job still walking in integrity. Do you entice me? Against him to ruin him without a cause. Satan say, all right, have another lawsuit. Skin for skin. Satan say, a man will give all he has for his own life. But now stretch out your hands and strike his flesh. And strike his bone. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, somebody. This is heaven. Mm-hmm. Ah. Somebody said, what is this in the name of Jesus Christ? What is this in the name, of, in the name of Jesus Christ? The, name of Jesus the, Christ. Christ. the Bible says, mm. the Satan said, but now stretch out your hand, another lawsuit through this, and strike his flesh and bone, Mm-mm. and he will surely curse you to your face. Mm-hmm. The Lord said, okay, Satan, very well. Two lawsuits now, you know. Mm-hmm. Then he, the Lord said, very well, then he is in your hands. May we never be in Satan's hand. In the name yeah, of Jesus. That's why we're going to mush up the lawsuit then that he has against us. Yeah, so we will God, not amen. be in his hands tonight. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord says, he is in your hand, but do not take his life, spare his life. Huh? Uh-huh. When Jesus. Satan get the lawsuit, Thank Satan you, then Thank went you. Thank from you. the presence of the Lord. Jesus. You've got to get this. He always Thank go you. to get permission. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 So Satan went from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with mm-hmm. pain, sore from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head, child of God. Mm. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with mm. his as he sat among the ashes. Mm. As if that wasn't enough, Satan jumped into Job's wife. And Job's wife says to him, are you still maintaining oh integrity? Your integrity? Curse God and die! Mm-hmm. Remember, this is what Satan said to God, you know. That's how we know yeah, that it, he went God. into Job's wife. He said yeah, to yeah. God that Job will curse you to your face. And mm-hmm. since Job is not cursing God, Satan jumped into the wife to tell her, to tell him to curse yeah. God and die. And die, uh, yeah. Have mercy, Jesus. Job replied, you are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from the Lord and not trouble? In all this, Satan could not get a third lawsuit. I mean, Job, if Job had this, this destroyed, I mean, he may have gotten other things, but he could not. The main thing he wanted to do was to kill Job. Not just to kill everything around him. Hello, somebody, I need your ears tonight. Amen. 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 The next thing Satan did. You so say you say he killed my children, my finances, dead worm eating my flesh. What did I do? You see you know what Job did? Before Job gives Satan a lawsuit to kill him, Job starts to curse himself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Job opened his mouth and said, May the day of my birth perish. He's not cursing God. And the night that they said a boy is conceived, that day may it turn to darkness. May God above do not care. I need to him to lament and curse Amen. his own life. Somebody said, Job is wise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, saints, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So when God says to me, Anna, 
The book that I give you to write on law and navigating your way through spiritual laws. And um, it is very potent because you will understand how the law system operate. And he said it is all there in the word. In the book of Job, you saw how Satan himself take out the lawsuit. The affliction of Job was Job being placed on a trial. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So tonight, I want to stop just a little. I don't want to go through all this book on laws and navigating your way, mm. the different kind of lawsuit and how you can identify when a lawsuit is Amen. initiated against you. But I will just give you this from the chapter four of this book. When you're dealing with justice, you must begin to understand that God is absolute just. Can somebody say God Amen. is absolute just? Hallelujah. God there is not one iota. Jesus. Not one iota. Absolute where is where is Pastor Simpson? Susie Simpson. I say God is absolute just. Absolute there God. is not one Amen. iota of injustice Amen. with him. Amen. He is so just Amen. that when Satan oh, come God. with an accusation against us, Satan can get an occasion to attack us and even kill us mm. because God is just. Hallelujah. Amen. The Hallelujah. The Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody will say, then, oh, God, love me and give. you got to believe in his justice. But this is why I start to get afraid of God. I am afraid of God, oh, because I said Satan can pick up a case and go before the Lord as he did for Job. And we get in serious, serious trouble. We are in serious attack constantly. So the journey to the justice system of God and on earth begins with the initiation of lawsuit. So whether it is Satan giving you a lawsuit or in the earth realm there's a lawsuit, this pivotal step that we need to take will set you up in the right way to get your legal, hallelujah, right in motion, allowing your case to be heard by God and seek resolution. The, in this rest of the teaching, I'm going to teach you just a few essential steps that you can take that involve whenever a, a, a lawsuit, spirit, we're going to specifically talk about spiritual lawsuit. This is the most important thing that I'm writing on now. Spiritual law suit. There's a bounty on your head. Remember, I described what a law is. Hallelujah, prior to reaching this, this step in the teaching. Mm-hmm. So when a mm-hmm. spiritual lawsuit is taken against you, the essential step that you need to take is to know why the lawsuit is against you, and you need to file a complaint to the courts of heaven, determine the jurisdiction that you're in and understanding the statute of your limitation. Mm-hmm. So you need to file a lawsuit against the enemy, saying um, that's why in the book of Isaiah, the Bible says that we should what? State our strong reason so that we can be justified. We should what? State our strong reason that we may be justified. It is crucial that you understand our limitation. So that's why we have to go to the higher court for this critical aspect of initiating a lawsuit, particularly against uh, the spirit that wants to kill you, sickness uh, and everything. Can you, the, the repentance is, is, is a way of acquitting you of the lawsuit. But sometimes there are more than one lawsuit against you. You're just dealing with the one with your head and there can be a variation. A whole heap of lawsuit. Remember, I just walked you through the analogy of, oh, Job, he got one lawsuit, then two, and then he would have gone for more if he was given the opportunity. But the 
ultimate lawsuit was to kill Job. Hallelujah. So I want you to know that the spiritual lawsuit is what is being filed against you. That attack on your body that will not heal, it means that there may be a higher court involved in persecuting you and you need to determine the jurisdiction and adhering to the statute of the limitation that you are operating under so you cannot divide, you cannot um, get your own justice. You have to go to the justice system of God that will set your process in motion. Then number two thing you need to do, you need to start prepare for your trial. Prepare for your trial is very important. A lawsuit advances through legal system. That's why Satan go to the highest system of all. That is the appellate court of God, the highest system. Hallelujah. So he goes, he's already prepared with your file and document that he's going to present to the Lord because he knows that God is a just God. Throughout your preparation, you must also take the initiative to start right down things that you can remember you, you did. And if you can't remember when you go to the court of heaven before you dive into just forgive me and stuff, you need to ask the Lord to bring back to your remembrance things that are critical, uh, 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 incense against you. Hallelujah. So you can prepare yourself right for the trial. Then you're going to now start subpoena Yahushua Amashiach, which is your attorney and the party that lays uh, the accusation or the, um, the, the lawsuit against you. Hallelujah. So you can present your case effectively. Then you will realize that you're not alone because the paracletos, who is the Holy Spirit, is going to help you discover the process to gather more evidence because Satan makes sure he has meticulously gathered all the evidence that you that is against you. If your child of autism, there is a judgment that is against your child development. Hallelujah. There is a judgment. It can come from your bloodline. It can come from your husband. It can come from your wife. You need to know the key to navigate this complexity while you're on trial. So when we go to the court of heaven, I'm going to help us tonight because I'm, uh, I know the battle is going to be strong tonight. Hallelujah. But this is going to be a very, um, you're going to present this thing, a legal proceeding. You're going to have an encounter with everything from the groundwork, presenting your case in an effective manner. And you will discover that there's a particular era of your life. So if there's a particular era of your life that is a, a superimposition on you, your life and well-being, that hallelujah, a derogatory claim of darkness is there, and it just presenting um, death. You're feeling the shadow of death. You feel like you're under out of death. You feel death production, death documents, death records. You feel uh, a tangibility of, uh, hallelujah, the presence of death. Uh, no matter how you pray, it is because a lawsuit is uh, there. And when you don't know what you do, you pray, you pray, God grant you mercy. In your time of getting mercy, God is also releasing the evidence for a strong case of a backbone for trial. So God is releasing the evidence so you can know how to present your case to him so that all claims will be annulled. Once you come in that hallelujah volume, or just strategically putting down your hands and saying, okay, God, so my mother did abortion. 35 children were killed in the bloodline. Hallelujah. And some of you may not get the, um, the, the number, but you can just say, God, all, all, just to make sure you cover all the areas and that nothing is extracting from the testimony that you're trying to present in this critical case that you're bringing before the Lord. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. 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 This is the this uh, this book is the most profound book. I mean, this 
skill and knowledge that God is really bringing me into. So now when I come to the court of heaven, I have a better understanding, hallelujah, that there is a way I can set an alternate dispute and resolution. If it is a sickness, if it is a poverty, and whatever you're dealing with, there is a way you can get God's attention. As I said prior, that God is the law. Give us Psalms 19 verse 7, the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So can you imagine when you bring the lawsuit that Satan has taken out against you to the lawgiver, James 4, 12, there's only one lawgiver and judge who is able to save and to destroy. So we are going to present the case before the Lord tonight. I want you to take a, a inventory of what is against you, what is attacking you. Hallelujah. So when we bring this to the court of heaven, somebody say, what a mighty word tonight. Hallelujah. When you what bring it to the court tonight. of what a heaven, mighty child word tonight. of God, child of God, my brothers and sisters, when you bring this to the court of heaven and you present your case to the Lord, and you call just like oh, if you were placed in a courtroom, in the earth when you call, hallelujah, the heaven Jewish victory, hallelujah. If you, if, you, if you say, for example, you have not a lot of understanding, but you know that Yahushua is a righteous judge. If Satan could get an occasion to tempt Job the way he did, then Yahshua, the righteous judge, who even know more than Satan, will be better able to present our case in a legal manner. But we must be ready to go deep with the Lord. We must be ready to take, hallelujah, the blame for what we have done. Notice God did not blame God. He blamed himself, hallelujah. Even though he was angry for all that was going on in his life, he did not at any time charge God foolishly. Can somebody shout, I am ready. This case is going to come to an end. Whatever lawsuit is against me, all those lawsuits is coming down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah in the name of hallelujah. 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 Too much of you online for that hallelujah sound so far tonight. I dive into it to show you hallelujah. that the lawsuit. So you're gonna get out uh, you're gonna get out your Thank journal you. now. We're gonna go to you're gonna write down now. What is it that is against it? Is it a lawsuit of sickness? A lawsuit of untimely death, a lawsuit of affliction, a lawsuit of infirmity, a lawsuit of poverty. What is the lawsuit that you're facing? Uh, does that make sense to you? Because every one of us yes, yes. does not have the same kind of lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Some yes. of you lawsuit is different. Lawsuit varies. When you go to court, people is there for various reasons. Not everyone come to the court for the same reason. So you yeah, need to know your reason. What is the lawsuit against me? Is it a lawsuit from the occult? Is it a lawsuit of accident? Hallelujah. Is it a lawsuit that I must spend the rest of my life regretting where I am in life now? Father, what is the lawsuit that is against me? Are you ready now? Because we are going. This is a serious prayer, and I need you to get out your journal and begin to write hallelujah mm -hmm. can we go now we're ready we're ready we're ready to amen. present our amen. case mm. amen amen so you, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna mute your phone so that you will just repeat after me so that even if it's the personal thing that is not uh, conducive to speak on this line you will not be compromising your own personal privacy so you can mute your phone why I'll open the court. You just repeat after me, and then after we finish, we can hallelujah, unmute and go into other ministration. Let us go. 
Father, in the name of God Almighty, I ask to come to the courts of heaven, hallelujah, with the guidelines for my humanity, understanding your law system, understanding that your law system encompassing exploring just the principle and believe that governs it, Father. Your law system provides moral and ethical codes that establish my various things that I need in my life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your divine authority, Authority, I ask that the courts will be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I ask that uh, your laws that set aside the rules, the principles, and regulation that established by the authority of your government to regulate uh, my life uh, and individuality, both of my bloodline and even my society. These laws have been violated by me, my children, you can begin to talk, my husband, my wife, my bloodline in their own individual ways. Father, I know as a result of that, there has been a dispute in the court of heaven against me. Mighty God and my children, hallelujah, my bloodline. Yahushua, I subpoena, hallelujah, the men in white linen, the 24 elders, hallelujah, the cloud of witness, Hebrews 12, 1, 2, 2, 3, the seventh spirit of Yahweh, according to Isaiah 11, 1, 2, 3. God, laws have been established by various entities over me and my bloodline, such as a demonic government and legislative body, satanic court and authoritative institution. They have written against me their legal claim, which primary function in the same way it did for Job, in Job chapter 1 and Job chapter 2. Father, because there is a, a legal, hallelujah, lawsuit in the realm of the spirit, hallelujah, it is impeding on my freedom, hallelujah, and perplexing me, O oh Lord. So I am here because of the conflict, the punishment, the wrongdoing that we have done that is promoting these lawsuits in the name of Jesus. I feel somebody's getting freedom already, and we have just only started. Father, your commandment and moral guidelines is typically consisted of your moral government in various aspects of my humanity and my behavior, relationship and action. Father, your law covers areas of my entire humanity, morality, ethic, and social life. You have brought me here, God, to live a life of compassion and to treat others with, with ethic, with um, um, etiquette and love, good morality and ethics. My, my Father, it is my personal obligation to obey your law. But I am from a descendant that were all lawbreakers. We did not follow the individual guidelines to lead a righteous life. Lord, I am emphasizing on the importance of contributing positively to what you require of me, mighty God. I ask for your divine mercy right now, alongside your laws, Father, uh, you, you, you may tell God how many generations you are, if you know. I am the fourth generation. I am the fifth generation. And no one in my generation has ever taken this fundamental opportunity to come to you because the laws and principles founded in the Bible were violated by me and all my ancestors that were before me, leading me in bondages of sickness, untimely death on my children, 
Oh, God, lead him in poverty, lead him in hardship, lead him in all kind of violation. I ask, oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you will pull up my file, call your file. When you call your name, call your name by your last name. If you're married, call it by your two name. Hallelujah. Your maiden name and then your marital name because you want God to purge your bloodline and also purge your marital destiny. In the prophetic name of Jesus Christ, I'm feeling something. Father, it has been brought to my attention that it's not only a satanic court or a satanic government, hallelujah, that has a lawsuit against me. Men and women in the physical have a lawsuit against me, Lord, such as witches and wizards, necromancers, stargazers, pronosticators, Mighty Yeshua, I would like the army of angels, the scribe angel and all the oracle of God to draw up, hallelujah, all the documents because I want to be, hallelujah, a law-abiding citizen of the kingdom of heaven and in the earth. I don't want to violate no more of your law because they carry serious implications. I feel the Holy Ghost. So I'm going to ask the court, God, that all the lawsuit that is on me, lawsuit, God, from religious leaders, lawsuit, God, from my mother's house, my father's house, lawsuit from false prophets and false priests and oracles of Satan, lawsuit from those that are in authority that speak curses against me, God, and my children. Lawsuit of deities and entities, lawsuit of diviners, lawsuit of satanic gurus, lawsuit, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, from the gods of fertility, the god of homosexuality, the god of lesbianism, the idols of my fathers, also the, those that were practicing orgies, God, and mass rivalry against you, God, the God Diamazos, which is Bacchus, the God of wine and beer, and all the gods of Molech, the God's God, the God of the constellation, the God that mentioned in the Bible that when they worship them, it leads to death, the God Osiris, the gods, oh God, all the gods of the constellations, all the Egyptians, God of the Nile, the God of the underworld, the God of agriculture, the God of reincarnation, the God that judged the dead, Osiris, Rabaku Satu Rebe, the old of witchcraft, the old, the soothsayer, the occultic female, the occultic male, the divinatory spirit of heresy and false prophet, the mysticism God, the fetish power, the screech owl, the late, hallelujah, Asmodai, Mando Father, I have been spoiled. I've been polluted in the name of Jesus. And my soul and body is not corresponding with you according to your divine will. Yes, I shout and I pray and I make noise. But that's not enough. There is a kingdom requirement and a kingdom prerequisite for me. So, Lord, I ask that you will even extend your mercy. To pull up rights of ownership, hallelujah, such as Wicca, Duracism, witchcraft, magician, sorcery, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, the Amorite kings and all the other magicians that are unknown unto me, God, black magic, voodoo, and all the conjuration, God, they are Speaking, they come. Oh my God! The Lord is telling me that evil witchcraft of a law. So the lawsuit from these entities have been coming against my humanity. Oh God, arise in the mighty name of Jesus as I hand over my to you, God. I hand over myself to you, the true judge. 
That's what David says. It's better for me to fall in the hands of God. David said, God, you arrest me than I fall in the hands of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the court of the law of God, we ask that all the foundational laws that is the intricate tapestry of our humanity and society, that I and my bloodline has violated the law that stands as a backbone to uphold order and justice in our humanity and civilization. I petition you, Lord God, that because my life is rooted in that rebellion and the principle of injustice is following me because when I break... Come on, somebody. I'll meet your phone and shout. I just got a mighty revelation. Shout hallelujah. Whoa, hallelujah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, mighty is the Lord. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. Hear what God says to me. Anarchy, Israel, because of the violation of my law, because my people treat my law carelessly, this mm-hmm. is what they reap. I'm going to read to you what you're reaping. Oh, and we're going to ask God to remove it right now Jesus. in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. The opposite Jesus. of justice is injustice. Yes. Injustice is a quality relating to unfairness. And many of you can be identified with that. Mm-hmm. Why is this happening to me? Mm-hmm. What kind of injustice is this? Yes. Yeah. The reason for that is because mm-hmm. the violation of God's righteous yeah. law of justice yeah. has given you the opposite. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you hearing me, child of God? I agree. I agree. Yes, I agree. Injustice. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Lady Carolyn Dorsey, said, you hear me? I feel fire Amen. in my bone. I feel like Amen. I need to go Amen. study law. Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Forgive me. So you're wondering why people troubling me and don't do nothing. Amen. Injustice. Lord, forgive me. Mm-hmm. Everywhere I go, people want to kill me. Injustice. Mm-hmm. What have I done to deserve this? Injustice. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. somebody violated justice and they are reaping the harvest of injustice. Somebody's about to get a major deliverance. Let us Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Woman of God, I cannot I Jesus. cannot take the glory. Do you mm. know how long I'm, I'm praying for VP? And today mm. in my prayer, God gave me the answer for mm. her problem. Her problem is solved now. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody. Jesus. Hello, Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Let us continue. Jesus. Most righteous God. Most Repeat after righteous. me. Most God. Most righteous. Please God. Uh, mute your phone because we're gonna we're gonna get back quickly. It is it is it's oh, Friday man. night. If we have to be late tomorrow, let us get the injustice off us. Huh? Praise the name of the Lord. Most righteous eternal Father. The foundation of your laws is deeply rooted in your principle of justice. I, my children, God, my ancestors, 
on mother's side and father's side dating to Adam and Eve have violated these rules and law serving as a pillar of your legal system for it to stand. We did not understand the fundamental principles that you were giving us that is so vital and significant for us, God. We did not know, and that is why some of us have fought a lawsuit on us. Some of us have a thousand. Some of us have generational lawsuit upon our head. And it is maintaining a disharmonization with us, resulting in attacks after attacks. God Almighty, I pursue your justice system from the core of my existence. I ask, O oh God, that all lawsuits, mighty God in Zion, upon me, upon my children, Upon my bloodline, upon my ministry, my marriage, my finance, my health, the organ of my body, my destiny, my children's health, their destiny, the organ of their body. Lord Jesus, I ask as a citizen of heaven, I ask as an ambassador of reconciliation, that God, a legal Process will begin now. Every lawsuit unknown to me, every lawsuit unknown to me, even spiritual civil lawsuit. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Heavy stuff. This is too heavy for me. Oh, Shatala Bahaya. Father, I ask and I seek, O oh God, an equitable, mighty God, deliverance that you will address every lawsuit, lawsuit of injury. God Almighty, God said to look up. Hold on, saints, I have to look up something for you. Praise God. He stopped me and tell, tell me to look up this quickly and tell you what it means. Somebody unmute your phone and speak in tongues just for three minutes. Let me find it and tell you what God says. Hallelujah. Rabashan, <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it to you now. You see, after tonight, hallelujah. I know this is why you come on tonight. You have been feeling tremendous shit, huh? After tonight, if I be a woman of Yahweh, you're going to take this principle, my beloved people, uh, pay daily for that. In all is 170 witches come to tell me that this message cannot preach. Hallelujah. Because it will go bankrupt all of what they have been doing to our humanity. Hallelujah. Somebody said the witches them in trouble. Hallelujah. Because God begins to open up my eyes. I am trying to bring up the thing and the computer just going around. But God says, since the computer not 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 allowing me, God tell me by myself. So I don't even need the computer to validate what God has already told me. Thank God for the Holy Spirit that is above all. Shout hallelujah. Praise the hallelujah. name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So God says to tell you, God says to tell you, hallelujah. He said to tell you that curse, curses, curses carry a lawsuit. Hallelujah. Curses carry a lawsuit. Ah, the, the, the definition of a curse is intended to invoke a supernatural power. To do what? To inflict harm 
a punishment on someone. So that curse carry a lawsuit. That is why the Lord is saying a curse, a curse, cause less cannot stand. Can you say that, please? A curse cause less cannot stand. So a curse, help me somebody, cause. Mm -hmm. When I mean cause less, it means there's no reason mm -hmm. for the curse to land. Proverbs mm -hmm. 26 verse 2 states a curse that is causeless. Can it said as the bird by wandering, as a swallow by flying, so a curse without a cause shall not alight. Mm -hmm. So God mm -hmm. says to me, when the curse land on you, the lawsuit mm -hmm. the curse give is what is happening to your life and to your destiny. So what mm -hmm. God wants to do tonight, he wants to remove the curse of you. Hello, so mm -hmm. we're going to go deep tonight. Jesus. If there's hallelujah. a of a curse, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, you're going to buy this book from me. Hallelujah. This book mm -hmm. is going for $25. It will yeah. be ready in a couple day digital version. Here is what we're going to ask God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, repeat after me. I am of the understanding that this is complex and intricately woven in the framework of my existence. Father, you are the cornerstone of justice in my life and my society, my family, Lord. I ask that the curse that of a law, a law to arm, a law to injure, a law of Death that is governing my life because of a violation of something that I did against your law that has given them the ability to release a lawsuit of death, a lawsuit of injury. Mighty God, the constitutional federal state of demonic laws has come up against me. The court of Satan has put me on a trial. You told Peter that Satan seek to save you, but I have prayed for you, Lord. Judge of the universe, I ask because you are the lawgiver. Jesus is my attorney. I ask that the legal documents that I, wa I want to take it in stages now. Number one, all lawsuit on my marital destiny, my children marital destiny, hallelujah, my generational marital destiny. I want to repent of the sin that brought that lawsuit into my life and that jurisdiction into my family in the name of Jesus at every level, federal level, national level, international level, global level, worldwide level, cosmic level, galactic level. Underworld level, water kingdom level, and every other level, subterranean, restoral level. Father, in the mighty name of Yahshua Amashiach, I ask that as I repent, that your angel who has the responsibility, Holy Ghost, to remove the cloaking device, the system and structure, the mechanics of that. Hallelujah, that entity that has programmed itself in me, my children and bloodline, to stop and to block our marital destiny. I do ask that the court will move now to give me a verdict, to render a verdict for this, hallelujah, this righteous injunction in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two. You're going to pray for your elder. Father, in the name of Yehushua Ama Ashiach, every lawsuit and legal system, oh God, that has been intricately woven into my destiny from the highest level of 
Satanism, the federal level, the worldwide level, the global level, the galactic level, the cosmic level, the subterrestrial level, the marine kingdom level, the, 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 the necromantic level, and all other ritualistic level that have constitutionalized a law. A law against me that I've respectively, hallelujah, um, um, forged, hallelujah, various documents. Some are authentic and some are, hallelujah, fraudulent documents. I ask the judge or the jury in the court, in the heavenly jurisdiction, that they will bring all these documents, that Father, you will look at these hierarchical structure and ensure God that everything that I am repenting of right now, God, in your legal system, Lord God, that you will forgive because these, uh, hallelujah, has impede my health. So you can tell God which part of your health. Uh, my heart health is compromised. Uh, my brain health is compromised. My eye health is compromised. My children health in the, is compromised from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. They have been a uh, higher, hierarchical structure of demonic powers. Uh, you said in the book of Job that Satan leave your presence and when to strike Job because Satan have a lawsuit on my El God. He leave your presence and he come to strike me with brain disease, heart disease, uh, hallelujah, blood disease. And if you have a child with autism, you can say my children with autism, my child with autism, uh, any dysfunctionality you have perceived, just drop it in there. Hallelujah. Father, because uh, of the violation of your 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 your, your your judicial system and the heavenly jurisdiction, Father, my family, hallelujah, has been compromised. Lord, the hierarchical structure of diabetes, cancer, tuberculosis, brain disease, blood disease, diabetes, blindness, madness, vertigo, hallelujah, Beelzebub, warfare, and all kind of injustice, God. I stand in repentance and I ask for forgiveness. Come on, you can tell God anything else you notice in your health. Father, I ask for the full participation of the judges of the court of heaven, my attorney, Jesus Christ, the juror and the witnesses, that all the legal system will be involved in this because I have prayed numerous times about particular areas of my life and I did not understand that there was a lawsuit on me, God, and that's why I was not getting complete victory. Father, you are the advocate. I am your client. I present this and I make a legal acquirement that, oh God, there will be no documents left in the enemy's, hallelujah, evil constitution. He will not have any document in his archive, no covenant, contract, vows, trading, dedication, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring this case on my altar, Lord God, that there are things that are trying to kill me. There are things that are trying to superimpose on my breathing. You can talk about your lungs. If you have a lungs problem, an eye problem, an ear problem, any era that the enemy have access to, we ask, Father, Father, not just for ourselves, but our children and also their children, children. The Lord is telling me kidneys, yes, any judgment against kidneys, any judgment against cardiovascular rem, lymphatic, lymphatic immune system, any judgment against the brain, any judgment against the spinal cord, any lawsuit, God Almighty, we ask, so oh God, that the legal professional of heaven, Oh, God, by strict ethical guideline, uh, will educate for us right now. Uh, give the court another chance. Father, we ask for even medical angels to show up in the court right now uh, to give us MRI and every test necessary to prove, uh, hallelujah, any error that the enemy has 
intricately woven himself into, unknown to us because Satan likes to ID down in the recessive of our being. And then there's an arthritis, there's a back pain, there's something that is initiated with the lawsuit that he has. So I ask that we will not be limited to any form of necessary test that needs to be done on me, my children, my husband, my wife say it in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, uh, Father, I ask that a crucial step will be taken now that will initiate that all lawsuit that Satan will not be able to hide any lawsuit that even after this prayer, he will initiate a new battle and start attacking me again. Hallelujah. I'm saying something even bigger. May God give me strength. You got to pray my strength tonight. Woo! Mm-mm. Mighty King of the Universe, uh, this include anything hidden uh, in the archives of darkness by ancestral spirit, uh, any dispute, any alleged crime, uh, any injury that we have done to human, any human or non-human entity that came in because of injury that we have caused to others, any witchcraft lawsuit, hallelujah, any blood sacrifice, blood, hallelujah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's for you. Yes, Lord, I hear you. We ask that you will forgive us and our children and our bloodline. Uh, we now petition you, Father, for the following, that the court will now move, uh, hallelujah, to thoroughly investigate uh, word upon word, line upon line, every claim, every lawsuit, Father, upon me, my bloodline, my children, their bloodline, my father, us, my mother, us, even dating back to Adam and Eve, uh, that all lawsuit established on the basis of sin uh, and violation of your law, Lord God. I stand in total repentance, Father God, and ask as I acknowledge my sin, the Bible says that you are faithful and just uh, to forgive me of all my sins and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness uh, because you are the lawgiver, Lord. Uh, according to Psalm 75, verse 7, God, but God is judge. He put down one and lift up another. Father, your word declare in Psalms 19, 7, the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple psalms 1 19, 89 forever O lord your word is firmly fixed in heaven romans 12 verse 12 for all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law and we have all sinned under the law but god you were you are the judge to judge us in the final state daddy i ask according to ecclesiastic 12 14 for god will bring every deed into judgment and every secret thing, whether good or evil. I ask for total acquittance from all these um, lawsuits against my health. Come on, unmute your phone and give God thanks. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody has to tie me. I see people being free. I see people being free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
So we got to walk right before him. Am I communicating somebody? Amen. 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 So while I was praying that, God began to show me something very big. I don't know if I have the strength to do it all. I've been on battlefield all night with a lady in Jamaica, but this is very important, what I'm about to say to you. Uh, I was seeing people getting free. I saw Yahushua Mashiach Thank dressed you, in full white with a, 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 a golden gir- girdle around his waist. And he was coming to distribute documents. So I saw him taking the document over like he wants to go to his father mm. to speak to him one on one. And I hear the word in my spirit mm. total acquittance. So, Oh, 
I got another revelation. I'm coming to the end now. So tired. Somebody shout hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You see, say there's a difference from when man run church and when God run the church. God wants his people to be delivered more than anything. That's why he died. Hallelujah. He did not die for us to have any form of prohibition when he come on to deliver. So, as I was singing, so here's what God told me. I'm going to give you this as a homework. Huh? Some lawsuit. It's very serious. You have a lawsuit of the occult. Huh? You have funeral service conducted in the realm of the spirit. Spiritual burial lawsuit. Decay lawsuit. So you're just going to get lawsuit and take it to the courts and begin to 
deal with lawsuits. Even religious pastors that you leave the church and they put a curse on you is a lawsuit. They give Satan the legal right to attack you. One of the greatest things God showed me is lawsuit and finance. I, uh, my breath was evaporated. I was so out of breath when I saw the huge amount of lawsuit that is on finance on this line. Hallelujah. So maybe we need a day or a night when we come and we deal with the lawsuits on our finance. The kind of thing that I'm seeing is not just a come Lord, I bring a lawsuit. There's some deep thing and mysteries why families are still in poverty. And when you work, the, 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 the extortioner come and take all you have. It is a law that was violated. And you need to know what law was violated so that you can pray and get your deliverance. I thank God for bringing us this far tonight. Do we have any testimony before we go, please? Do we have any testimony before we go? Yes. yes. Hi, good night, um, Apostle and everyone. Uh, well, we were seeing the prior point. I saw something like um, shot out of my right feet, foot bottom, and it was painful. I don't know what that was. But when I was, um, we were seeing all the prayer points, I felt something came, I don't know if it shut out or came into my foot, but I'm not even sure, but it was very strange. All right, so um, once, once the legal right of an entity or a deity, can you hear me saying, so whatever it is, they just leave on their own accord. Once there's no more lawsuit on you, they just leave. Uh, they, you won't even have to tell them to come out. You mm-hmm. have to tell them to come out. Hallelujah. That's the power. Yeah. When, the, when, when no accusation is, is against you. That's why God said to Satan, Job is blameless. Nothing mm-hmm. is there for you to accuse him of. So mm-hmm. what, you just, what you don't realize is that because no accusation is there now. No accusation. Mm -hmm. Satan don't have anything on you right now. And what you need to do to make it even more profound, you need to go into deep intercession. Make a list. I am employing people to make a list. And don't just take this as a normal prior. Because that's to do with courts of heaven. Make a list of what you think. A lawsuit based on the knowledge you have received tonight. Make a list. And bring it to the court, God, the lawsuit of spinal injury, the lawsuit of heart diseases, the lawsuit of diabetes, the lawsuit from the Freemasonry, the lawsuit. Even tonight, God began to show me lawsuit. Serpent, I, I wanted to pray that prayer, but I said, you know what? Let me also let you guys exercise your faith. Because immediately when I drop this, I'm going to be praying the lawsuit of scorpion. Serpent, the lawsuit of scorpion, the lawsuit of untimely death. God begin to show me that it ju- you just initiated it, Anna. But some people have some lawsuit on them that is so huge that they need to even fast and get before the Lord in their own time and space to begin to deal individually with the lawsuits. That is against you. Mm-hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a dynamic mm-hmm. testimony. I can't. I promised the global platform that I will share this testimony on the globe from Pastor Simpson. Let's hear this awesome testimony, please. Oh, well, we'll hear this testimony. I just want to share another prophecy that I received from the woman of God, Apostle Anaki Weed Israel. And how the yeah. prophecies manifested in my life. And a lot of times when we get prophecies and they manifest, we do not give God the glory, we do not come back, we do not testify. But I'm sharing my testimony to know that, for people to know that God is real. 
He's still in the miracle business. Prophecies are real. There are real prophets out there. And I'm telling you, my encounter with um, prophetess Anaki with Israel, I received the same prophecies from Apostle on three different occasions. She first prophesied this same prophecy to me in 2018, 2020, and 2021. I was, in my heart, I was believing for a four-bedroom, three-bathroom home. I really wanted a four-bedroom. I really wanted a three-bathroom house. Nobody knew this. You know, I was just desiring it. I was just looking at four-bedroom houses with three baths. That's what I was looking at. But in 2018, she prophesied to me. She said, woman of God, I see where you're going to buy a house. It's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom. I was like, in my mind, I was like, the devil is a liar. I'm believing God for a four-bedroom, three-bath. And prophetess is telling me, I'm going to get a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house. Okay, then she prophesied the same exact prophecy to me. That the first time was 2018. Then she prophesied to me again in 20, 2020. And then the same exact prophecy again in 2021. And, I'm, and, and at that time, I was really looking for a house. She didn't know that, that I was lo- looking to buy a house at the time. And I was looking at four bedrooms. And everywhere I was looking, because I bought my house in the crisis in the middle of COVID, and everybody know that COVID came in 2020, and I bought my home in 2021. So house prices went up. Um, The market was very bad. The interest rate was good, but it was hard. It was like shark infested water. It was very difficult to get a house because everybody was rushing from New York City coming up to upstate to buy a property because people were dropping like flies in the big city. And people of God, let me tell you this. The house that I'm living in now, I got the house, glory be to God. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. And when I came to the house the day, nobody was here. Every house that I went to, people were lined up for blocks trying to get to purchase that home or trying to make a bid on the home. And when I came to this house, I was the only one here. I had no competitor. It was unbelievable. Beautiful home. When when the inspection came in, it, it passed with flying colors. So I know that God prepared this home for me. This house is so peaceful. I'm telling you, it's like I got the perfect home. And I, and, and I, and I know that God is not a man that he should lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, his, and, and his prophet that he's using in this end time is real. Because I know that prophetess Anaki with Israel, she's real. She prophesied the same prophecy to me about this home. I was not believing God for a three-bedroom. I was believing for a four-bedroom, three-bathroom. And she said, I see you getting a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home. I didn't even believe it at the time because in my heart, I, you, know, you know when your flesh desires something, that's what your flesh desires. So I was like, I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not accepting that prophecy. But let me tell you something: when God speaks His word, it will not return back to Him void. It mm. must accomplish what it was released. Hallelujah! To do. And the word that you mm. released it did not go back to God void. It accomplished what it was released to do. Mm. So I have to just give God thanks. I just want to give Him glory. I thank Him for this house. And I give him all the glory, all the praise, and I thank him for using his woman servant, Apostle Anarchy with Israel. And I thank God for her obedience and not being afraid to speak, thus saith the Lord. He doesn't, she doesn't care if you believe or not. She's saying what she's saying, and I just want to give God thanks for her and thanks for her ministry in Jesus' name. 
With that said, I want to do an altar call for those that have backed in from the Lord. God has given me a mandate to win a million souls. I can't sleep. So we have a crusade coming up for soul saints. I need, I, I'm, I'm sending out the, um, the um, salvation pamphlet. And if you're interested, I will mail it to you. you and if you if, if you can get the money on, but the ones that you will get, you will have the logo of the line of Judah on it to distribute to people. God told me it's going to be quick. Bam, bam, the rapture. Bam, bam. You won't have any time to do anything. Hallelujah. It's going to be so XP. Dishes. So I start making sure that my crown is packed with stars. Every opportunity I get, it's about winning souls. As I was talking to a woman, I said, anything God tell you to do for the ministry, don't hesitate, don't sabotage, don't delay. Because I am telling you, when the rapture comes, you'll be driving in your car, the one that is ready is taken. Yeah, the address of the one that is taken, ready is taken. And so is what we do for God that's going to count. You're going to have to stand before the white throne judgment to give an account. I just finished a book. This is my eighth book on the Battle of Armageddon. And I want to share it at length with you another time. The Battle of Armageddon is very serious. And um, some strange things are going to happen that not human going to fight. Not even military personnel can fight that. God himself has to come and fight that battle. And so before the physical Armageddon takes place, the spiritual one also is incensed against us. God tell me that he's preparing us for the battle. We're at the entry point of the battle. Some people are going to drop down dead because you were not prepared for war. You were only fed with intellect. Intellect is nothing on the battlefield. Hello? <laughs> you can't Amen. go on the battlefield with intellect. Amen. 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 You can't go on the you people are want to kill me. I have a bachelor degree in sociology. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't go on battlefield and kill me. When God began to tell me that the battle, he said, I am training you. Your ministry is warfare. Those who will come, come. Some will run left you and when it, when it hit them, they run right back. Just keep going. <laughs> Somebody said, just keep going. 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 I told about the lady with the six bird that we delivered her from last night. Six black birds jumping her, killing her. She dropped down on the job, dying. When I call, got to call this lady now, when I call her, uh, I'm dying. And I said, not under God. No, that Come out of her, you black bird. Six of them fly out of the woman. Huh? The witch that says she will die on the job to get her position. After we finish the prior, she and I alone on the line. Three hours after we say amen, by the time she gets dressed and go back to work, they fire that witch. Without any, she didn't have to carry any news to anyone. They, she was fired. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this is what I am saying to God. You get a husband, you can't keep them. They want to kill you. You have a business, they bewitch you. Hmm? You're in the ministry, they care to kill you. So it's just war, all out war. So you can't stay with your sophisticated self and don't get to do what God tell you to do. And for Beverly Davis, I saw your number, um, your, your line. I just saw it. While I was looking in the room of the Spirit, God gave me one word for you. And the word that he said, I am going to give you justice. Justice. 
I saw you in a street walking all by yourself. And you were encapsulated in a realm of deliverance. And I see the hands of God pushing you towards justice. You're working out a justice. What God is getting ready to do with you is going to be like a trendsetter for other people that they have robbed and tried to siphon what belongs to them so it's coming to the end now there's going to be a justice you will testify says the father amen hallelujah somebody shout amen with that amen prayer father for those that are listening to us who have backslidden from you father we just ask oh god for your forgiveness so say this after me dear lord yahushua i'm a shia i am a sinner come into my heart forgive me of my sin and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Father, I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. I now confess Jesus Christ to be my Lord and Savior from this time forth and forevermore. Dear Lord Jesus, erase my name from the book of death and damnation. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life and seal it there. If you have prayed that prayer, I welcome Welcome you to the kingdom of heaven. Find a Bible believing church and you will start your journey to eternity. With that said, if you have a love offering, don't hesitate to give it. This is a high season of breakthrough. It has started. The rims are on tater. Justice is being served. Uh, sow your seed in faith and Tell your seed that all the justice that you have never received, as you plant that seed right now, uh, uh, as I tell people before the week is out, before the month is out, before the day is out, look for the, the things that God is doing, whether they are great and small, and keep pressing into justice, for that is your inheritance as a child of God. I know God tell me that this prayer will bring no backlash. My God. Wow. God said this prayer will bring no backlash. Can no one can contend with the highest court. What can no one can contend with the highest court, which is the Supreme Court. So I steal you all with the blood of Jesus. Until next time. Shalom. Good night. Shalom.